From what we've gathered so far, Emma took the bus from school with her friend, Haley Arrington, to Haley's residence. Witnesses place Emma at Haley's residence for about an hour, and then walking to your home with two friends, Haley Arrington and Megan Cross. While they were walking, a man in a blue shirt approached them. He grabbed Emma and took off in a green SUV. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I'd like to issue an Amber Alert. Okay. Yes, please, yes, do it now. What are we waiting for? Have you checked everywhere? There's nowhere to check. She was taken in daylight with witnesses. Well, why didn't they take the other girls? I can't speculate. Could it be a game, right? The girls. They just took it too far. Sir, we have two adult eyewitnesses. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> OK, you two. I'm going to go ahead and issue the Amber Alert. I'm going to get back out there looking for Emma. All right, Claire, thank you for the photographs. I have everything that I need. They're a great help. OK. Thank you. <laughs> I should let her go to Haley's. Don't put this on me. Where are you, Claire? Where were you, Ryan? It was a normal day. She asked to ride home with Haley at breakfast. You were there. Or did she just shut us out again? Yeah, just because I miss one little detail doesn't mean I don't care about my family. I care too. I'm terrified. Can't you see that? She's my baby too. I took that picture. Okay, when she broke her arm, I was the one that was there to take her to the hospital. Just because I didn't carry her around in my belly for nine perpetual months doesn't mean that I love her any less than you do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Detective Bishop, she's issued the Amber Alert. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> we have to do something more. Emma's, Emma's nine years old. She loves Moosey the cow and soccer and animals. <laughs> Emma's a bright, beautiful little girl. We understand why you're enamored with her. Her smile, her sense of humor, and her, her laughter is contagious. She's the brightest part of our lives. Please, please give her back to us. We'll give you anything you want, anything. Just please, please bring our Emma back safe and safe. Thank you. <laughs> to make call for ransom or something. My mind is just going places that it doesn't need to go. Baby, we can be so cruel. We, we can't think like that, honey, okay? We just can't. But what if this We just can't. He's not, okay? He's, he's a guy who saw how special she was, okay? He's just a guy who's not all there and, and he wanted to play, okay? They've got, they've got teddy bears and they're watching cartoons. All right, Emma's laughing, okay? She's laughing. She probably doesn't even realize that we're worried. Okay, like that time at the zoo, remember? Mm -hmm. oh, polar bears, yeah. That's right. <laughs> and it's, it's our time, and she's coming. She's... <gasps> it's Detective Bishop. Oh, Jesus, God. 
We found something that I need you to identify. I need you to tell me if it's Emma's. Oh my God, it's hers. <laughs> Wait a minute. That could be any little girl's pack, Claire. No, it's Emma's. It's inside. Look inside. It's, her name is inside of the fact pack. <laughs> We found this about a mile east of here. This could be a good sign. She could have gotten away. She could be running. She could be hiding somewhere. Was there a... Was there a... Were there, were there any signs of no. a... No. Just the backpack. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I need to process this. The wind when they were going down the street, they could be out of the state by now. Stop it. I can't, I can't bury my child. I can't bury my child. Stop it, Claire. We, we don't know what's going on. No, we don't. What if we never know? What if we never find her? Jesus, seriously. We don't need this right now. I think it'd be worse not knowing. I mean, we could never move, you know I mean? She's still alive. She'd want to come home. And Christmas is, <laughs> they'd be empty, her presents never open. Shut up, Claire. The one good clue we have to go on and give us hope, and you're tossing her in the grave. I'm not tossing her in a grave. Do you even hear yourself? Did you even hear what the detective said? She could be running, she could be hiding, she's terrified, and all she wants is us. She's a smart kid, give her a chance. I, I, I can't bury my child. I can't. Bury my child. <laughs> oh, I can't bury my child. <laughs> I can't bury my child. I can't. I can't bury my child. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. I can't. No. Take your meds. What? Listen, these were given to you to help you handle stress, and this is hands down the best time. <laughs> Our ammo, okay? Oh, we have to believe that. We okay? can believe that. We have to. Which I could. I can't bury my child. I can't bury my baby. No. Of hours. Any news? No. I would have woken you. But I've taken to social media, I've created a website, I've, I've sent emails to the PTA, things like that. I even, I, I. It's that detective. Oh my God. She doesn't have anything with her. That's good, right? She doesn't have Emma with her. It's bad news. No, no. When they when they rescue a child, they have to debrief him. I think the social services has to question him and everything, right? Right? I don't know. Don't open it. What? Are you seriously telling me not to find out what happened to Emma? Go lie down. I'll take care of this like I take care of everything else. You gave me the medicine. You gave me the pills. Did you think for a second that maybe Emma didn't get kidnapped? Maybe she ran away. 
ran away from your wine parties and you're forcing her to do auditions and forcing her to do art classes and forcing her to do whatever else you didn't get to do as a kid. Ryan, I don't ever do those things so I can live through her. I do them as a distraction so she won't know how much her dad loves work more than his own family. Boo-hoo, Claire. If I didn't work so hard, you couldn't have your own personal pharmacy. I take those drugs because I hate being married to you and I'm depressed. I only stay because of Emma. You shut me out a long time ago, for no reason. I've never cheated, I've never done anything! No! You just blame me for everything that goes wrong, just like you will this time. Is that what you really think? I would never do that. Hey, I would never do that. I really am. I'm just scared. I'm sorry. Scared, babe. I'm sorry. We have to open the door. No, 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 Ryan, right now. She's still alive. If you open that door, everything could change. Please don't open it. Do what, huh? Do what? Wonder? Are you? Babe, we have to know. If you open that door, our world will fall apart. I don't think we can handle that. Or we open the door, and we can find out that it was safe and sound, and rebuild everything from the ground up. <laughs>